So this tutorial is about the Gracie curettes. These are strictly subgingival instruments. Um, for the posterior Gracies, they come as a set. So in your kit, you're going to have the 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, 14. One is going to be a mesial instrument and one is going to be a distal surface instrument. Um, in your advanced perio kits, you'll have another set of the 15, 16, 17, 18. So, but for, the, for purposes here, just learning, we're going to have the 11, 12, 13, 14. So the 11, 12, or the less complex shank, is going to be for mesial surfaces. The more complex shank, or bigger bend here, is going to be the 13, 14 for distal surfaces only. So we'll start with the distal instrument first. Always start with the distal. I'm going to be at a 10 to 11 for uh, posterior teeth. And just like the universal curettes, you want to hug that corner of the tooth right at the distal line angle, and we're going to insert at a zero degree or closed angle uh, insertion again. So we're going to hug that tooth, drop the instrument, and stand up. We're using the paralleling technique. We're going to make sure we have the right end first. So that's parallel. This is not. So I know I have the correct end. So we're going to drop the blade, hug the corner of the tooth, insert, and just walk into the distal. Again, using only firm lateral pressure if you feel something that you need to remove. Okay, next tooth, we're going to drop, insert, stand up, and walk into the distal. That's all you do for this instrument, just the distal surface. So it goes really quickly. So I do all the distal surfaces of the quad that I'm working on first, and then I go to my mesial instrument and do all the mesial surfaces. For the mesial surface, this one is a little bit harder to tell the correct end, but again, we're looking at the bend here, and the functional shank will go up and over the tooth that you're working on. So we can put it in the distal, just to make sure we have the correct end. So my functional shank is going up over the tooth I want to work on, and is parallel with the long axis of the tooth. This one is not. So here we have the correct end, even though we're going to move mesially. We're going to point the tip toward the mesial surface. We're going to start at the distal line angle, closed angle insertion at the distal line angle, stand up, and we're going to just walk along. Make sure to keep this instrument as straight as possible because this is already um, a bent instrument as far as the blade. It is already uh, angled at a 70 degree angle so you do not have to add that additional 80 to 90 degree angulation toward the tooth it just should be parallel straight up and down otherwise you're going to close the angle too much and it will be ineffective next tooth You want to do short strokes. You don't want to go in and out of the pocket that's going to injure the tissue. You want to stay down underneath the gum line as you move. Do not go in and out of the tissue. Just like that. Next 